we can do the same for the other uh, files here. So this is the index page, but then let's go to the about. So again, I'm going to delete everything up to here, the nav bar and replace it with that uh, header. Come down here to the bottom, replace, remove the footer here and replace with that same thing. Delete, don't forget to delete the body and HTML tag. And then down here, I will put footer. And let's go to videos, same thing. Let me go up here, delete all the HTML at the top. Boom. And come down here and delete the body and HTML tags. Then come to the footer. Oops, where is the footer? Here. This one is surely different. Wow, it didn't have a footer here. Or maybe that's where I copied it from. All right, in any case, we'll put it right before the JavaScript. Then I'll change header to footer. One last one for contact. Same thing. Come down here. Delete body and HTML tag. Delete the footer tag. then change the values to footer. Alrighty then. So let me refresh now to make sure everything is fine. Okay, there we go. About, yeah. Contact, great. So everything is working fine now. The only thing is uh, even when we're on contact, it's still showing that we're on photos, this line at the bottom here. And now we can easily change that because it's in one place, which is inside the header. Okay, so I can remove that for now. And then I'll come here. So this is where the, the action is. And as you can see, there's a class called active. So if I move this active class, let's say to videos for a second here. Oops, I removed it inside the classes, so I should add it in there. If I move it here, so you see that videos will be the one that's underlined now. So <clears throat> we know what to do just to move this around. Now we need to know on what page we are on, right? So let me close, uh, let me close all these files so I can uh, see properly. So if I go to the controller inside core and there's a view in there and this view can carry some data. Right? So we just need to give it some data of what page we are on. So let me close this controller. Let me go to the individual controllers now. So mm, let's start with uh, about section, right? So right here, I can create a, a variable called data is equal to, now I, I'll, I'll be better off making it an array. So I'll just say page title is equal to so what page is this about this is the page title about okay so about now if you remember correctly we can add some data to the end of this so that uh, because this is what we defined in our controller core we put that there so we can put some data. So I'll just copy this because I know I'm going to need it everywhere. And that title there. Okay, so now that I've added the data in the about, I will go to my header. Where is this? Uh... Actually, let me do this in all of these just to avoid errors. So I'll come here, paste that and then add some data there go to home <clears throat> same thing 
change that to home i didn't change this to contacts so let me change it the page is now contact save add the data okay or we could uh, just say it's photos because that's actually the home page and videos now finally uh, videos and let's put some data there very much good and so now uh, it means inside our um, our pages here we have a variable called data that we can use okay so let me go to the header actually it's in the header that we need this so there is header.php there we go so the title here we can simply echo data so i'm going to say php in fact just use the equal sign data page title And then close that so now if you look at the title it's an error and undefined uh, index page title blah 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 now what this means is because we we loaded the header using another uh, let me go back to let's say the index page here in the catalog right so as we are loading this, there's a variable called data in this scope. But because we are running another function here, we have to explicitly provide it there as well. So it's a pain in the butt, but uh, once we get it done, we get it done. So let me go down to the, if I'll need anything in the footer as well, but for now, I think that's fine. We'll add it when we need it. So, <coughs> sorry, it can be, so on this one you can see it's writing properly photos there so what would be nice is to go to header where is that header instead of just putting page title we also concatenate a pipe and then put a website title like so Let's leave some spaces here that way instead of photos it's photos my website okay so but this is on videos right okay so on videos there's an error so the reason there's an error now uh let's go where is this okay so we have to add this data there on all of these so let me close the files again and load these one by one so about make sure there is data there contact make sure there's data uh, there there is oops i actually forgot these two pages videos so this one is photo detail and video detail these are the ones that show a photo in detail and a video in detail so we need to do the same thing we did here so let me copy that to photo detail and then remove the header as intended the nav bar like that then go down delete these guys do the same thing on footer and then change this to footer okay done for video detail photo detail i mean so now we go to video detail same drill there is the nav bar oops i passed it by it ends there good come down here delete the body html and delete the footer change that to footer and we're good to go all right so now i can uh, refresh and i won't get no errors in the title so you can see videos can see about you can see contact now i just want the active part to change with it as well so this is an easy fix let's go to the uh, header.php 
we are simply going to ask what the title name is and then uh, if the title name is correct with this then we echo the active part that's it so <coughs> excuse me here i'll put some php tags and put uh, in fact since this is an echo i just say equal to so let's add a question mark so we're going to say if data page title <coughs> equal to this one is videos it's capital v put a question mark and then we'll echo this part to put a full colon else just echo an empty string and then at the end of that we close that so i can put this in bracket like that okay so at videos so let's see if it works for videos Ooh. syntax error unexpected closing bracket so the closing bracket went in the wrong place it should be there mm -hmm. so it's not working for videos is it oh because we are on index page so let's go to videos there it's working so let's copy this and paste it uh, among these guys like so and then just change what we are looking for here here we are looking for photos here's video here we are looking for a boat and here we are looking for contact just remember to put the capital letters here because that's what we supplied in the controller here the capital letters right so let's refresh and see everything work like magic and magic is always very disappointing you know it didn't work so let's come back here and see what exactly went wrong so if page title okay contact about active so why is one working and the others are not is the question so videos is working fine photos not so much okay so why the reason it's not working is because the the php tag is right next to this so when i'm echoing the active thing it it just interferes with this so let me move this one there we go that should solve the problem yeah it's magic Ooh. Okay, great. So far, so good. So the remaining thing now is to see how we can actually um, get this search bar to work and then how we can upload an image here and put them right on 